rise and shine, Mr. Freeman. Rise and shine. We all remember when G-Man appeared on the screen at the start of Half-Life 2 and gave his chilling monologue about the fate of humanity under the rule of the Combine. The Combine was a representation of everything the human condition stood against. They enforced a no-child policy, forced human-combine hybrids, and pushed humanity into slavery. Now, what if I told you that some of these horrific acts could happen in real life without an alien force? Lock your doors and close your blinds, because today on the New Age Gamers, we're going to venture into the horrific reality that is the Combine, and how humanity really are the monsters presented in Half-Life. One of the requirements for something to be deemed living in organisms is to reproduce, or to continue the species. In Half-Life, however, the Combine have a global suppression field which keeps humanity from re reproducing by blocking a certain protein needed in reproduction. This means that the generation of people presented in Half-Life is the last generation. Uh, bringing it back to reality, Snap back to reality, there is no technology that exists by a nation or any group of nations that can stop reproduction. However, if it did exist, it could be used as a weapon to decimate an entire population. Now, what if I told you there was another way to limit the population? Maybe even a social policy. And this is where things get scary. China has that law, called the Family Planning Policy, or more commonly called in the West, the One Child Policy, which limits the number of children a family can have to one. China did this in order to control their overgrowing population. In fact, a study done in 2011 said that over 400 million births were prevented due to the policy since 1979. Now, allow me to put that in perspective for you. How big is 400 million? Well, there are 316 million people living in the United States, and there are 35 million people living in Canada. Eh? Don't make fun of Canadians, they're nice people. Okay. If we add those together, we get 351 million people, and that is still almost 50 million short. There's no way that can be right! That number just blows my mind. Now, let's look at this. China has a population of over 1.357 billion. That's billion with a B, people. You would think that this strong policy, the population would slow down, but like us, You'd be wrong. China is the world's largest nation and is projected to get larger. Who's stopping the governments from stopping the very criteria that makes us alive? The Combine is not just one species of aliens, rather a group that splice human DNA with various other extraterrestrial DNA to create new, inferior forms of life, like the Overwatch soldiers, the Grunt Force on Earth during the occupation. Now I know what you're thinking. How does this relate to anything in reality? There are no alien races that have bonded DNA with humans. Unless you're an X-Files fan, of course. Then yes, we have. And the truth is out there. Case closed, let's go home. Woo! Jumping back to the topic at hand, though. Our DNA is not altered, but we have augmented ourselves with machines. Let's backtrack again to one of our earlier episodes, transhumanism. And if you have not seen transhumanism, please take a second to go watch it. I can wait. Anyway, we good? Sweet. In transhumanism, we talked about human augmentation with machines like the pacemaker. Now, let me ask you this using the pacemaker as an example again. Let's say tomorrow we have first contact with an alien race, and they are more, eh, let's say, superior technology-wise than we are. And they are willing to share their technology with us. One of the few lessons this species will teach us is the ability to combine genes with another species. We may see eye to eye with these entities, but by comparison, they are genetically superior. Now wouldn't those people with the pacemakers want a new genetically advanced heart? This again is the same setup as augmentation with a machine, but this time it's organic rather than mechanical. If we had a chance to better ourselves genetically, it is safe to say that most of us would take that chance. Slavery has always been a difficult subject to talk about. For millennia, people have enslaved others to do work for them. 
When we think of slavery, most people think about the African slave trade that existed for countless years. However, most people think in the 21st century slavery is over. As I would like to say, treatment like that is over. It's not. Contemporary slave trade exists today. There are several types of slavery that exist. There is debt slavery, which is when a person can't pay off a debt and they work for an extended period of time to help pay it off. This is similar to debtor's prisons that existed in the 18th and 19th century. Another awful type of slavery is sex slavery, which is self-explanatory. Overall, there are 12 to 29 million slaves in the world, with it being a multi-billion dollar industry. We looked at a lot of things today, some awful like slavery and limiting one's children, but some good like augmentation. This begs the question, is the Combine just a reflection of our own sins? Before we think of what monsters the Combine is, we should first look at ourselves to see the real monsters. On that depressing note, this is Brody and the New Age Gamers wishing you a great day.